Hey everyone, I just wanted to share some citadels or star forts I've found in uh, South America. So, Cusco, uh, I can't speak Spanish, so I'm not even going to try and pronounce some of these names. Cusco is a city in the southeastern Peru near the Urumbera Bamba Valley of the Andes mountain range. It is the capital of the Cusco region and Cusco, Cusco Providence. 2017, the city had a population of 428,450. Located on the eastern end of the knot of Cusco, its elevation is around 3,400 metres or 11,200 feet. The site was historic uh, capital of the Inca Empire from the 13th until the 16th century Spanish conquest. In 1983, Cusco was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO with the title City of Cusco has become a major tourist destination, hosting nearly 2 million visitors a year. Okay, so um, the whole city basically has a massive fortress around it. So to save time, I'll scroll so you can pause. The Kiliki people occupied the region from 900 to 1200 prior to the arrival of the Inca in the 13th century. Carbon-14 dating of the Sakuswan Man, the walled complex outside Cusco, established that the Kiliki constructed the fortress about 1100. The Inca later expanded and occupied the complex in around the 13th century. In March 2008, archaeologists discovered the ruins of an ancient temple, roadway, and aqueduct system at the... I'm sorry, I can't say these words... The temple covers some 2,700 square feet um, and contains 11 rooms thought to hold idols and mummies established to its religious purpose, together with the results of the evacuations in 2007 when another temple was found at the edge of the fortress. This indicates a long time religious as well as military use of the facility. The image of the uh, walled city of Cusco in 1565. So it's similar to the setup of what I found with the Kremlin. It's just got massive walls, fortress all around it. It's called citadels. The technology needed to build this would be just unthinkable today. Beautiful architecture with that. I'll leave links up in the description for everyone. Ball of Trujillo, so a similar star fort city. Um, map of Trujillo in 1786 made by Balthazar Jamie Martin's companion. Shows the wall of Trujillo surrounding the historic centre in the central zone. today. I'm thinking a lot of the cities I'm finding are actual star fort cities, a lot of the older cities. The Wall of Trujillo was a Peruvian defensive edification built in the 17th century to protect Trujillo city against attacks from pirates and pri privateers. It was constructed by Victory. I'm sorry, I can't say that. Don't want to offend between 1687 and 1690, it surrounded the current historic centre of the city, including 15 bastions and five gates. It was torn down towards the end of the 19th century to allow the construction of new neighbourhoods as the city expanded. Some section of, sections of the wall can still be seen today, including parts that have been restored. 
in the El Rico Square at the end of the Parisio Street in the historic center, which is now a public area. There is also still fragments of the wall conserved on the Espana Avenue. Trujillo was one of the three walled cities during the Spanish rule of the Americas, the other two being Lima and Catagania. I have referenced these in the Google Maps. The wall was built during the Hispanic period to protect the city from pirate attacks, which is a common threat given the Trujillo's proximity to the sea, roughly five kilometres from the main plaza. Most colonial cities along the north East northern coast were subject to these attacks. Um, it was attacked in June 1624 by the Dutch army under command of Jean-Claude du Gavant, who received the order from Deputy Jacques Le Hamrat Clark. More than 20 houses were burned down during the siege. The city also moderated by William Dampier, 1684. So... Um, giving the looming threat of attack, the Wall of Trujillo was built in the 17th century during the reign of victory. I'm sorry, I just can't say these names. Okay. It was designed in an elliptical shape and completed around the year 1690. The defensive structure was composed of 15 bastions, 15 curtains, 5 gates. The gate of Human was oriented towards the southwest led to the village of the same name. The gate of Menchish was in the north, the gate of Maria Flowers was to the northeast, and the gate of La Seria Sierra was towards the road leading towards the region. And finally the gate of Moch that gave access to the people from the south. In 1942, on the space occupied by the Wall of Trujillo, Espana Avenue was built. The same is currently around the city around the area called the historic centre of Trujillo. The wall lacked moats and embankments. So some of the parts of the surviving walls are still there. So I'll just quickly pause it to show you. So this is Trujillo Gillo today. I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong. The Purukara de Tilkara, sorry, it's, I've said it wrong, is a pre -Inca, Inca fortification or Pukara. It is located on a hill just outside the small town of Tukara and the Argentine province of Juje. The location was strategically chosen to be easily defensible and provided good views over a long stretch of the. Can't say this, sorry. Um, it was declared a national monument in 2000. It's partly been rebuilt. Human habitation in the area dates back to more than 10,000 years. The fortified town, town was originally built by the Omega Gara tribe, who settled in the area around the 12th century. Experts in agriculture, weaving, pottery, there's also renowned warriors during that time served as an important administrative and a military centre. Covered up to 15 acres, about 61,000 metres squared, and housed over 2,000 inhabitants. Small square built stone buildings. The Fort of Santa Catalina in Lima, Peru is a neoclassical style building that partly survives and is in good condition. It is one of the few examples that represent the, the military colonial architecture that still exists in Peru. It dates to the 1800s decade and was built on a land called Heruda de los Lenos. I'm sorry, I just can't say those. Which belonged to the monasteries of Santa Catalina de Salina. Conception, respectively. The property is registered as a property of the Peruvian state. Uh, total area of 25,250 square metres. 
It's one of the traditional areas. It's a government factory of the barracks of Santa Colina. Colina was started for artillery barracks. Facade shows a corner tower made of adobe and a range of a slope. A large wooden entrance of the barracks of a neoclassical style. Neoclassical pilasters of Corinthian and iconic capitals and reduce the arc in a circle segment. I'll save time, I'll just scroll through and move links. I apologise for my speech. Some of these, I don't speak other languages. Some of these words are really hard to say. There's those towers again. Arica Ray is also known as the Fortress of Arica Ray. It's an archaeological site located on the Hanara River Valley of the north, near northeast of Peru. The impressive fortress is located in a series of three hilltops, each ringed with a number of perimeter defensive walls that have parapets, bastions, and which stand as testaments to the military nature of the site. Radio carbon dating has established it to be built of about 900 to 200 BC and abandoned 1000 1, to 1440 1470 AD. Sorry, it's a bit hard to read. Surrounding the hilltop fortress are lower lying areas of occupation and extensive cemeteries which have been heavily looted. Antian, Antian was called to the site by the German archaeologist Hans Hockemar, who wrote about a crane in 1962 in the Peruvian magazine, calling it the Fortress of Honua. He deemed a crane to be a true fortress, unlike well known neighbouring site of Paramonga in the Patubia River, whose defensive nature has been questioned. So I'll leave links for these in the description. This is Arake, Arake Ray. So you got your top one, and then you got another defensive, and then you got another defensive, and defensive down here, as well as the bottom cemeteries down the bottom. All been looted apparently. Chan, was it Chan Quillo? Is an ancient monument complex in the Peruvian coastal desert found in the is it Casmain Chechen Basin? I apologize for saying these ruins. The ruins include the hilltop Chenko Fort and the nearby 13 towers, solar observatory, and residential gathering areas. The three towers have been interpreted as an as, as astronomical observatory built in the 4th century BC. I'm very sorry for saying these wrong. The site covers about 4 square kilometres, 1.5 square miles, and has been interpreted as a fortified temple. So I'll leave links in the description. Looks as if it could have had a moat at one stage with the, just enough rain. Quite easily had a moat around there. The real Philip Fortress was built to defend the main Peruvian port and the city of Lima from pirates and corsairs during the colonial times. The fortress was pivotal in the 1866 naval battle between the Spanish fleet sent to South America to reclaim its territories and the land batteries in the coast of Peru. The real Philip Fortress is currently the Peruvian Army Museum, displaying historical uniforms, weapons and other military paraphernalia. So it used to be a main port of 
the Americas was constructed between the years of 1640, 1647. Why do I have it here? Oh, seventeen forty six the design proposal for French architect Louis Gooden selected to design the fortress. Construction of the fortress began on the twenty second of January seventeen forty seven. So I apologize for the date. The soil built up here on top of it. Duca de Chino, also known as the Chino Paca, is an Incan site on the Chino Mountain in the basin of San Bernardo. And just the, um, the fortress was a set of nine enclosures placed on a summit of the hill, two defensive walls of surrounding. The first approximation of the new interpreter was published in 1991. This one points that the pyramid of the walls of the Purkery, it suggested the form of an animal, possibly a female, and the defensive walls would not be such, but three areas and the Inca consummation. Okay. So it looks as though the top of that metric picture was a, a citadel as well. Fortress. I'm so sorry for saying these words wrong. So it was a fortress on this mountain here. Sancti Spiriti, Argentina, was a fortification established in 1527 near the Parana River by the explorer Sebastian Cabalt. It was the first European settlement in the territory of the modern Argentina and was destroyed by the American Danians two years later. Fort Colongi. Um, built by the French uh, for, for protection against attacks by hostile Indians and the Portuguese. They built the fortress with the help of 500 colonists who traveled with him in two ships armed by the King of France. Islands rocky, almost barren. The fortress fell and was destroyed on March 17, 1516 under the siege of Portugal's navies. The new fortress was built there by the Portuguese in order to defend the mouth of the Gambara Bay by crossing fire with two other fortresses. This fortress was almost totally destroyed by the bombardment in the revolt of the navy in 18... What's the name? Today the island, which has been renamed the island of... I can't say that, sorry. is home to the naval school since 1938 and now permanently connected to the continent.
the age on that. So uh, this is Fortaleza de Santa Teresa. You can clearly see the shape of the star in this one. Beautiful design. Looks like it's got a bit more over here as well. All the way along that coast, it looks like they've had cannons, something all the way along. You can see the shape. It's like a star shape in all the... So here we got Fort Bloons. I'm just running out of time, so I'm just gonna let you guys catch up this if if you're interested. Uh, Fort Copacabanca. Um, these are the ones I've just shown you on Google Earth. Fortress of Humanita. Just the one on the river there, on the mouth of the river. Fortaleza de Saint Teresa. Military fortification, 22 miles south of Choi, east of Uruguay. The walls are the shape of a regular pentagon. Pentagon. Five angles are finished in projecting bastions. There are five checkpoints for each angle of the pentagon. Elegant construction in the form of a carved shape stone pulpit. Perimeter of the fortress measures 500. 652 meters and occupies one hectare. The walls are massive, built with huge granite masonry, strictly equal in size and perfectly carved. The outer wall is about four feet thick, the base and about two and about two meters. The interior, filling the space between one another, solid embankment in some places is up to seven meters wide. The height of some of the outside walls in some places reaches 11.5 meters. So. Just quickly show you this one. So here it is again. I did show it before. Fort Kobe was an army fort renamed from Fort Bujara on the 15th of April 1932. Um, fort going into the corner of the Pacific Ocean. I'm running out of time, so I'll leave links up. Charges and Fort St. Lorenzo. This one's been abandoned and beautiful. Intricate design. The whole city around it was abandoned. I had a mode at one stage.
So I just wanted to also show the Citadel of Cairo. Um, it's the fortification. It was the seat of government in Egypt of its rulers for nearly 700 years, from the 13th to the 19th century. It's, um, it's an amazing construction. So, built 1176 to 1183, and then 1310 to 1341 renovations, and then 1805 to 1848 renovations again. So, so the intricate design of this is just unreal. It's amazing. Beautiful design, it's unreal. Looks like some of it is under the sand still too. Like some of this here goes all along, it's under the sand. I dare say it goes a lot underground as well. And I'm noticing a lot of cities are basically massive citadels like they've got some sort of walled fortress around them okay the second last one we've got is fort julian um it's a fort located on the left or west bank of the belt nile about five kilometers northwest of rashid on the north coast of egypt it was originally built by the ottoman empire and occupied the fret by the french during the napoleon bonaparte campaign between 1798 and 1801, the fort became famous as the place where the reddest Rosetta Stone was found in 1799. So obviously, the Rosetta it was the Rosetta Stone was stashed there in one of its tunnels. So it was built around 1470. I'll leave links in the description. So here we got Fort Julian, and this is where. That precious artifact was found that has helped us understand more about hieroglyphics because we couldn't understand the hieroglyphics until the Rosetta Stone was found because it had the Old Greek and we were able to translate the Old Greek. So this obviously has a lot of deep tunnels, this place. A lot of historical significance. And lastly, the Fortress of the Immaculate Conception. It's a fort fortification located on the southern bank of the San Juan River. It is uh, situated approximately six kilometers east of the border of Costa Rica. Sorry, I thought I had a better photo to show you. My apologies. So if you're still with me, I want to say thank you very much. I appreciate it. And all the information that is shared. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye.